I don't, in Big Star Third, I don't even remember it as if it were an album project. Because we did it in fits and starts. We did it in really, I guess, three or four short, brief periods of time. Because it was painful. Uh, you hear a lot of exaggerated stories about it. Uh, some of it may have been a little indulgent. I'm not too sure of that. What we were doing was about, the whole record's about decomposition and decay. And uh, relationships were falling apart, the band had fallen apart, the record company was going out of business, everything was falling apart around us, and that's what the, that and Midtown Memphis are the two themes of the record. There's a geographic center to that record. Uh, although it's not really a record, it's a group of recordings. But the, the, the way we did it, I think two things stand out. One is John Fry's engineering, uh, which makes the record timeless. And two is, I think as a producer, I'm the last person to get a consistent set of performances from Alex Chilton. There's nowhere on that record where Alex is throwing it away. And everything after that in his career has been a question of how much he could get away with throwing away. But he delivers on every song on third, and I think that makes a big difference. Like, you're gonna, when you work with, uh, and again, I learned this working with punk musicians, although the same thing is true in R&B. Uh, Paul Westerberg told me, says, I'm not gonna give you 100% because you don't deserve it. Well, okay. They're either gonna do it to please you or to spite you. And I've, gotten some of the best performances of my career from spite. And that's not just Alex or Westerberg, that's my own son I'm talking about. Uh, and it shouldn't matter to you which way it comes down. And of course it's more flattering if they're going to perform for you because they think you can appreciate it and understand it and they respect you as a artist and as a human being, but that's just not always the case. And I, I'm, as I said yesterday in that panel, I don't tend to inspire faith. Something about my personality, I can't understand it myself, but I don't typically inspire faith. And the artist has to trust you, however momentarily. And there is a point in Big Star Third where I want Alex's trust and managed to sustain it through the project. But as Flies on Sherbert is living proof, it wasn't long thereafter that I lost that, that respect and faith. Oh, it's a brilliant record. It's a brilliant record, but it doesn't have the performance consistency of third. Oh, don't, uh, I'm, I'm not partial to the mix, but that was Alex's revenge. The Alex was excluded from the mix of third for, you know, for which he is unforgiving, but it was necessary. As I could either mix it with Alex or I could mix it with Fry. I could not mix it with both of them. And there was no doubt about my choice.